Hello and welcome to Bytes of Tech, the place where we share small bites of information to help your business and you be successful in the digital world. In this video, we're going to be discussing how to free up space on your Mac. Welcome to another edition of Storage Wars. Jump right in by finding out what's taking up the most space on your Mac. To do this, you're going to click on the Apple logo, click on About This Mac, and then click on the Storage tab. As you can see, I only have 95 gigs free, so there's something that's taking up a lot of space. So I click on the Manage. From there, I can identify what's taking up the most uh, space. For most people, it's going to be photos and videos, so you could uh, just transfer them, save them, and then thereafter, you can delete that. Uh, once you delete it, then of course, uh, you can take a look at your Mac, empty out that trash can and then go back to the storage and then find out how much you now have and as you can see I have 129 gigs free now that I can use for other things it gets a little tricky when you're talking about applications so I'm gonna leave it up to your discretion as far as what you're gonna delete or what you're gonna transfer if you do want to transfer it to a USB I'll put a couple links in the description below for some of the products I got this one it was on sale for like $69 which is 256 gigs and then I got the micro SD card that I'm using to film this 120 28 gigs for like 40 bucks um, so there you go these are just some different options if you want to free up space on your Mac now you got to think about actually how it's gonna look if you're gonna have something you know always plugged in or if you're just gonna have it once in a while We've talked about the external options. Now let's talk about Dr. Cleaner, which is another way to optimize, free up space, and clean your Mac. This is a free app that you can download, and then there's also premium versions of it as well. But basically it scans your Mac, it'll let you know about big files, it'll let you know about junk files, it'll clear up some of your RAM. I like using it, it's really easy to use. They also have some other apps that are paid. Um, this one's like $15, it's called the Duplicate Finder. They they actually let you use it for free, so I guess a quick little hack is that you can find out what location is of the duplicate file and then kind of you know delete it yourself and now free up space. For my PC users, you could use some of the same methods that I've described in this video. And what I'll do is I'll actually put a link in the description below that'll take you to this Microsoft support article. And this article is great. It gives about 10 different ways that you can actually free up space on your PC. Now I'll leave it up to you which ones you use. To wrap up, we talked about some different methods you can use to free up space on your Mac, such yes. as identifying, then transferring them to USB external or using free software. That will conclude this edition of Storage Wars. Thanks so much for checking out the video. I hope it was helpful. If it was, feel free to share it with a friend or colleague. Do me a favor and swing by my website at www.digitaldom.com and connect with me on social using all the links below and stay blessed.